what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add a gallery of one and what I'm going to do is just add the images and I'm going to sort of add them in a gallery so that they can just be bound in one one post uh, page or post uh, document. So I had downloaded a couple of uh, images right here. I'm just going to select all of them and upload them to to our current installation of uh, Classic Press. So our image was already loaded. So gallery one is going to be of items that are non-food, actually. So I'll just uh, only highlight those that I need. Create the gallery. I'm going to randomize them. I'll just link to the media file because we're going to need the particular link. And then I'll just go for the large size of five and then insert this and publish. So I'll just call this gallery non-foods. Non and then next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a second gallery, which we shall call food, I foods, food items. So right here, I'll just click add menu, do the same thing, add a gallery and then attach the particular items that I do need here. So I'll just add that to the something, get the large size and get the media file attached here and I'll actually insert this. So we publish this and we are ready to go. So on our front end, if we refresh here, um, we don't have anything changing. Uh, but we're going to be able to see what happens next once we start working on. So in our, in our, in, we've registered our, our, our custom post type right here. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to start writing functionality. We're actually adding uh, the, the light box JavaScript that we need and the CSS. So I have already downloaded this to my desktop. I'm going to unzip the file and I'll just get uh, the distribution folder right here. I'll just get these items. I'll just get the whole folder of the distribution. And then I'm going to just go and drop that into our folder. And I'll just call this uh, the assets. So once we see that, we see in our editor this has changed. So in here we have our CSS, we have our images that come with the light box, and we have our JavaScript also enqueued here. So next we are going to actually enqueue the JavaScript and the CSS that we do need. So what we need to do is add action of WordPress, and we're going to wp and q scripts that's uh, the, the act, that's the hook of WordPress that we need to tap into and then we're going to add a new function which is add our custom scripts uh, just have a little typo here which I'll correct and this is uh, our function that we do need so next we're going to do is add the function add that and then we will be ready to, to add our JavaScript. So if you don't know what this is, um, you can actually just go to back to your browser and then you Google how to end Q scripts in, uh, in, in WordPress. So you'll be given, you can go and just check this. And again, you'll get the code sample that you can actually add into your WordPress. So we have this example all right here and this is what we're going to actually go and add into our wordpress so we we know that we can enqueue our style by just adding the, the id of, of our, what we need the id to be it should be something that is a uh, very very particular and specific you know ids are supposed to be have to be unique to the purpose that they are being taken so we can just copy this and we shall paste it in our function so we can add style. I'm just going to call this 
lit box uh, lit box style and we shall not be using a template directory URI but rather we're going to use a plugin URI we're going to use the, the plugin directory URI and at the end of the day we're going to just uh, change this to assets and we shall need to we shall need to first pass in of course the file and then we shall add assets and then go to slash css slash lightbox dot main dot css and I think if we just actually go here we'll see that this is what we need. So I'm going to save this for now and I'm going to to just change oh there's a typo here it should be plugin directory URL. So if I actually go back and reload our page here and I just go to view the page source for starters, if we quickly look up the lit box style, you'll realize that we have this style sheet being brought in and it's denoted by the tag of lit box style. So the WordPress will just add a CSS file to it, but again you find that we are just having this enqueued. Now what we need to do is also add our JavaScript, so we'll just uh, duplicate this and instead of style here we're going to call it script. So we'll call this script and then we're just going to change this to JS for JavaScript and change this to JS for JavaScript. Now the NQ script for, for, for JavaScript has a number of parameters uh, parameters just like uh, style is and if we go and look up what those are is we'll find that we need to add a version number, we need to add some dependencies right here and then we can add whether it should be sent into the footer or not. So quickly running down to you can see the number of dependents, you can see the dependencies that it can have and I'm just going to get a code sample quickly here so that we are good to go. So the, the only thing that I actually want to add to this is I want to add our dependency which is uh, we're going to be using jQuery and this is uh, this is this is something that comes with a WordPress and we'll send it of course to the footer and the only thing that is left for us to do is we we'll put an ID, we've added the, 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 the string, we've added the dependency, uh, we've added a, we need to add also a version number so just before sending it to the footer. So I'll just add the date for today and I'll call it 2019, when May, June, I'll just give this whatever. So we just have something like that and once it's saved and we reload, you're going to find that if we quickly search for lit box, we have the style coming in again and then we're also going to have it in our footer and we have the lit box JS coming in. So, so the other thing that I'm going to do is just inspect to see in our network uh, to see what's coming in. So I'll reload this. When we look at all the, 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 the files that are coming in, we have our lit light box, which is a 404 because we have a typo right there. But again, we should be able to see our CSS also. It's, it's being locked down because uh, it has a typo too. So if only I could spell light box just right. So we have this and this, and if we save, and reload. It's always good to go and check your network logs to see whether everything is coming in well and yeah now it is. Everything is coming in with a 200 status. So we are ready 